So first up, we're at the studio, and I'll give you guys a little tour. And I'm gonna just show you guys some behind the scenes content today. We got orders to print. I'm also making a jacket for a big name artist for a Coachella performance. And I got a bulk order coming in later today that I'm gonna pack and ship out. And it's gonna be a good day. Sun's shining, I got a monster. Life is good. All right, let's go print this shit. So this is a studio, it's a community studio. So other people can be here, but usually it's pretty empty. Luckily it's empty today, so we can do some printing, printing some orders, and printing some new pieces for the next collection. But like I was saying, this is a community studio, so none of this, or this screen printing press, or the heater, none of it I own. I just pay a monthly fee and I get to use all of it, which is a great option if you're not trying to invest a bunch of money into all of this equipment. This press alone is probably like $2,000. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is paint the jacket for this Coachella performance. It's one of the painted jackets that I just released last month. And then I'm gonna paint a white t-shirt like the same one I'm wearing. I'm gonna just cover this thing in screen printing ink now. So because this dryer is not very wide, I have to paint it six times per jacket. So this is the first one. So now it goes through here so that the screen printing ink can dry. Basically you have to heat it up to like 300 degrees so that it'll dry. And this thermometer gun will tell me how hot it is. guys we are finally done with these so I'm gonna try them on and show you guys how it turned out I'm gonna put these in the washer and dryer too just to make sure there's not any ink that is not cured yet and next up we are going to be printing some hoodies so I'm gonna just get it set up and then we can print. So now we'll do a test print to make sure it's good. Print looks good, so I'm gonna do a good one now. Got these dope mineral wash t-shirts that I'm printing on. Oh my. All right, that should be good. All right, just put that one in the dryer. Now we're gonna do a green one. Okay, we have successfully cleaned out all of the ink from the screen. So now I'll just put some gray in there and then we can print on that crew neck. Okay, so even though we already did a test print, we did color change, so I'm gonna do another test print. All right, we are done printing it. It turned out super nice, I think. So I'll try it on for you guys, see how it looks. I 
think it turned out pretty amazing. Great blank, size medium, if anyone was wondering. I'm gonna be releasing these along with those mineral wash t-shirts and restocking the hoodies all this month. And then there's gonna be another item too, another t-shirt. So if you're looking for some new high quality clothing, don't miss out. The print is flawless. The drop's gonna be on April 19th. Hopefully this video is out before then. And then we got the green hoodie, the matcha hoodie, and then there's also an arctic blue colorway. It's my go-to hoodie these days. It's my favorite. All right, so we're all done printing at the studio. Now I'm gonna go back home and wait for my bulk order to arrive so that I can package all of it up and ship it out. All right guys, so we are back at the house now and I just got a text saying that the delivery is delayed and it's gonna be arriving tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow to ship all the orders. Good morning guys, it is the next day now. So last night I had three out of four boxes get delivered. For some reason, the last one is being delivered today. We got those three, so we're gonna package up everything in those. Let's go. Alright guys, that is it. We got three boxes full of pants. Gonna package them up and get them shipped out. That's all of it for now. So I'm still waiting on the XLs to arrive. These are the heavy denim cargos. Came out super nice, first pair of pants that I've ever released. And they sold out super quick, so might have to do a restock pretty soon. Also did a blue colorway, probably dropped that one. So we'll see. All right, and they sent me this fabric to test out. Little do they know, I'm not working with this manufacturer anymore because they've been messing up some of my stuff. What the? <laughs> There's a spider in the package. This is literally just in the package with it. If any of my customers get a spider in their package, I'm going to be pissed. So with those Serenity hoodies that I just released, the ones right here, this same manufacturer made them and they messed up on like 10% of them with like broken zippers. So now I just can't sell them. I have to get it replaced. And they are not even refunding me for it. So it's time to find a new manufacturer. So I'm gonna make a video finding a new one and show you guys how to do it. And they sent me this. This is from a sample that they messed up on. Big surprise. And I was like, don't throw it away, just send it to me. So it's pretty dope. I'll figure out some way to work it into a one of one piece. Okay, time to get organized. I've also got to repack all of these from these plastic bags here into the paper bags here. I asked the manufacturer to just do it so I don't have to use that plastic, but they said they couldn't do it because the paper would rip and I was like, nah, they're durable. So they didn't do it. So I just got to do it all by myself and then I'll just take that plastic and recycle it. Cause I'm not trying to use plastic in my brand at all. I'm trying to eliminate it completely, but clearly we got some plastic here. So room for improvement. But for now, we're just repacking them in all these paper bags. Plus, you can't tell me that this doesn't look better than this. I'm gonna unbox one of these and just show you guys how they turned out. We got the hang tags on here. Hang tags with twine. These are insane. Quality is so nice. 16.5 ounce denim. And the new tags. All right, take a look at these. Definitely gonna have to restock at some point. And then the embroidery on the back side too. All right, time to package them up. 
All right, so we're just taking them out of the plastic and putting them in these eco-friendly paper bags. All right, I've finally finished getting all of them into the paper bags. Now I just gotta pack them up. Got these recycled plastic poly mailers and then the paper packaging, so it is all eco-friendly. And they also have two strips on them so they can be reused. They got stickers and a thank you card, which has a discount code. And I always put one of these stickers on the front just for a little bit of branding. Then I'm gonna just put the shipping label on it. And it's ready to go. I actually have to reopen this because I forgot to put the free gift inside. First 20 orders from the last drop got a free gift. This is a free gift. All right guys, it is the next day and we got all of the orders packed up. So I'm gonna go to the post office today and ship everything out. And before we go to the post office, we're just gonna do a little celebratory jump. <laughs> Not the most graceful. Thank you guys so much if you ordered from this drop and if you're still watching then you're a legend so i appreciate you all right let's go to the post office all packed in the car got all the orders loaded in go to the post office dropped off i had to get out of there quick because i was blocking a truck but um and that guy was asking if i had a business card and i don't but i'm actually making some this week so i gotta get those made asap so i can be handing them out to dudes like that all right guys well that is the end of the video if you've made it this far thank you so much let me know what you want to see next and um just have a wonderful rest of your day all right